here. Alright, let's take a look. Oh my god, they got wrestling on the end. And they got oh, Hello Kitty All Might right there. And the Zombie Mysterio. So that's cool. Alright, so let's see what we got going. Um, Transformers. Oh my god. We got two gung hoes. Beautiful. We got two of those. And I guess you're Target exclusive. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, yeah. The viewer was asking about this, but there is one right there. So that's not bad. So we're looking here at NECA. No Ninja Turtles, really. Aliens Ultimate Edition. Yeah. Got those guys. Not much. We got office. Okay, that's cool. And my son, gotta pick up one of these for him. So, random pick. Let's pick this one. Um, I think he wants that too. What's up guys? How's it going? Uh, just doing a little recording after the trip I had. It's a great trip. Uh, was able to pick up this gung-ho. Uh, basically, I picked this up because if you guys remember, I talked about it in the last video that I already have one on pre-order. So it was nice to see them on the shelf. Um, the pre-order is through Nate's Toys and Collectibles. So I'm glad that I was able to secure him. But this particular gung-ho is actually going to go to, uh, well, i got to give him a, uh, a message first. I was going to hit up Todd. Uh, you may know Todd as Rectangular. Um, I know he was asking about this, but I know shipping can be an issue. But, you know, I'll, I'll talk to him about it. Um, but if he, he needs it, this will be his. Um, if not, then I still have other people on my list that actually was looking for this. So, um, But, yeah, this looks awesome in hand. Can't wait to get mine. It looks incredible. He looks huge too. He looks just like even he looks bigger than Roadblock in this one, even though I know they share the same body. But there's Gung Ho. Uh, just wanted to go over um, that I will have. Uh, I did get some packages in, uh, so I did have some packages that I will be opening, which is awesome. I think they're going to be great. But I'm going to show you a couple things. So let's turn around and show you what's up. So I started hanging up some figures up on this channel on my ceiling. So um, you can see these are all my carded stuff. Um, very happy that I completed this Danger Girl set, even though I have like that special edition one right over there. Um, got my Ghostbusters hanging up there. Uh, still making some figuring out stuff. Who knows? I got to just determine all of that. Uh, and then... We're just working all along, figuring out all the things here. Still need a, a fourth detolf there. Trying to figure out how to maneuver what's going to go in this detolf. Uh, but I did hang up my some of my autographs. Not all of them, but these are just some of them, um, as you can see. And, you know, some of this artwork, too, is autographed. That's Greg Horn, by the way. Um, and, of course, got my J. Scott Campbells and things like that. More Greg Horn. Uh, yeah. So that is what I have there, and including Michael Turner stuff, which I do have autographed, Wonder Woman there. But what I did is I did move my carded figures right there. Uh, also put up my Kingdom Hearts 2 puzzle. Can you guys see that? This was a thousand piece puzzle that I actually got from Japan. Um, I don't think this was ever sold in the United States, but I was very happy to finally do that one. Put it in a frame and hang it up. Uh, 
Go to Michael Dodderman. Thank you very much for that artwork. And Jim, thank you very much for this artwork. It looks awesome. And I have my J. Scott Campbells here with, with my um, Kylo Ren right there. Uh, but this, this is what's cool. Uh, so I did make it as a the new one and the older one. So you can see there's Daredevil with the older Daredevil, which I completely forgot all about that one. Um, there's Silver Samurai. That's a great um, look between the two. Here's Peter Parker, and here's the original Peter Parker. It does come with a camera um, and those collectible pins right there. So there's Cyclops, and I have the Pizza Spidey with this Spider-Man that I had, um, and I have the black costume Storm for that one. There's the silver costume. Couldn't get the black one yet, still working on that one. I put this Wolverine next to that Wolverine, of course, and, of course, there's Iceman. So I still have Beast, and I still have... To find a Deadpool one, which I do have the Deadpool carded one, uh, and hopefully with Kingpin, I'm going to set up Kingpin up there too. But that's what I have so far because I'm going to try to finish this end of the wall to hopefully, you know, do something nice and put some more stuff down there too, filling it up, filling up the wall space that I have. Um, but yeah, we're going to go do that. Look at my mess. This is a mess. Uh, but yeah, if I go out more hunting, then uh, I'll see you on the hunt. If not, you'll, we'll come back here and open up some boxes. So that's what they have of UFC, but this didn't change at all. Uh, no Legends, no G.I. Joes, because these are the G.I. Joe tags. These are the Legend tags. Can't do anything about that. Now, Judd had asked me for the Battle Cat, which I'm pretty sure it was this store, so... I don't think they have it anymore. That sucks. So, the Elite Collection, they've stocked up on Basics with the Top Picks line. I don't know. Yeah, that's it. Well, it's been a while since I've been to a Walgreens and they still have these exact same figures here, which is unbelievable. Uh, five below, why not get it there? Looks of bliss. Look at that, Dr. Doom. And Invisible Girl. Some really old Star Wars ones. Uh, oh, these are old too for my son. Yep, nothing, there's nothing else here. Oh well. Came to Five Below just to see what's here, but at the same time, getting something for my daughter, which is Shopkin stuff. And I cannot believe they don't have Shopkin stuff. This is ridiculous. <laughs> um, oh, they do have this five pack thing. All right, I gotta keep looking around. We got Reaper right there. And anything else? Wow, the medals are still here. And Fist Nest. Uh, I don't know about anything else. We got a lot of this Force Link stuff. That's wild. Uh, wrestling. Not bad. Look at that, they got these things here. Yep. Ninja Turtles have a lot of those, have a lot of the basics here. Multiverse. And. Oh, Jimpy, I just watched your video. Get a Zarya at five below. It's only $5 instead of you paying $8 at Ollie's. Uh. We'll get to that aisle in a second. And of course, I'm gonna have to ask for it. So, not here, but they do have Gung Ho, Cobra Commander. And are those ninjas? Nope, that's all Gung Ho. So no ninjas here. 
you go. Just take a look. Quite a bit here. I mean, they must have gotten two cases at the least, but I can expect this one hopefully to arrive at the end of the month. Uh, that looks great. Um, I have to go ask. That's really all I can do. I have to go ask. Uh, Transformers. And look at this. An Azrael in the store. <laughs> that's okay. I got it for 12 bucks on Amazon, so that's even better. Uh, kids, we're looking at this. And, oh, world's smallest. War Machine is here. There's a Punisher. Holy crap. And a Sunspot. Okay. Zero. Nothing. Again, nothing. Oh, $13.99. Um, the stuff that I do not want. And nothing more. So, Walmart trip. Look at that. Animized group. Voldemort. Aliens Ultimate Edition. And, oh, Todoroki's here and Kurishima. Or Kirishima. Nothing else here. And oh, they have an all for one pop and the Mecha Frieza. And that's it. That is it. So, White Knight is all they have here. And it is 1588. Well, look at this. They just got stocked up. So they do have the whole wave right here. And more than likely two cases of these. You never get to see them like this. And then here's some more. Unbelievable. Wow, okay. And how many cables do we see? That is a lot of cables. Good God. Look at that, Alpha. And the Zero Blue Ranger. So they hung up the UFCs right there. Oh, there's the Nightwing Ricochet. And no new Elites, so, oh well. No AEW either. Or Masters of the Universe, not here. I have a lot of those. Childs. But nothing else in regards to Black Series, because this is all Black Series. See, look, 40th Anniversary, Vintage, Black Series. There's enough pegs to hold them all. And nothing there. And oh, they got Blitzwing here. So that's it. What's up, guys? How's it going? Uh, it was a good week. It wasn't too bad. It was slow. And the reason why it's slow is because this was the first week of school for my kids. And it is all virtual, so everything is at home. Um, but that's okay, because I am at home. Uh, I'm home Monday through Friday regardless, because I work on the weekends. That's my full-time job, but they've been doing well. Uh, first week was very, very hard to get used to, more so because the struggle of all these kids trying to, you know, form a habit with this technology. So it's just... It, it's it's gonna take some time but it's going well uh, my kids are doing well so that's all I I was concerned about everything is good um, so there wasn't a lot of time of hunting but when I did get to go I made sure I went to places that I needed to um, hardest part uh, unfortunately was the target where the, the last target I went to because I was trying very hard to get that uh, Baroness for our, my friend Rob, who is on the Red Cup review. Um, if you haven't seen his uh, reviews or or his uh, live streams, I suggest you go and do so. I usually hit them up uh, when I can uh, and 
Rob is basically just tells you how it is. So it's awesome. Um, and I appreciate that too. Uh, but I was trying my best. He lives up in New York. I did my best. That target lied to me when I knew they had to. And then the following morning, guess what? It sold like that. And the guy told me he couldn't find it in the back. As much as I asked another person, they just told me other crap. So I, I couldn't, I, I wasn't successful on that. Uh, but this video, we have quite a few packages going on. Uh, very happy with these packages too. Uh, I also have a winner to announce on this one. Uh, so we will do that after the haul. And I just have a couple things to go over for my stuff. So uh, let me just get things ready. I kind of have them lined up as always, like I always do. Uh, but this one, comic book pickup. So this was uh, an exclusive, a variant cover exclusive, which I'm, I was very, very excited to get because one of the artists, or this artist, for example, uh, Natalie Sanders, does incredible work. Uh, and she always does, she typically does stuff for this company called East, East Side Comics. East Side Comics is actually uh, located in Phoenixville. And Phoenixville is like an hour away from me. So they have amazing stuff. You can check out their Instagram right here. Uh, they have beautiful uh, variant covers that are exclusive to them. So this is beautiful. I love this cover. Uh, so this is a Harley Quinn number 75 uh, exclusive variant cover uh, by Natalie Sanders who um, that I guess yeah it's exclusive to Eastside Comics so uh, taking it out right here and this is what it looks like looks like one of those fashion magazines pretty much and I think that is really cool she did one of Catwoman uh, which is awesome too. I would love to pick that one up, but this is in like a pristine condition. There's no ticks or anything on the bend on the by uh, the spine. It's awesome cover. Look at that with punchline right there. Harley Quinn. I think it's beautiful. I think it's great. So Natalie Sanders, amazing work as always. Check out her work too because. It's ridiculous. So there's my comic book pickup right there. Uh, store pickup. Uh, that Walmart, how ridiculous is that? All those cables, that was like three or four six pack cases of cables. That's nuts. I. <laughs> Here's the thing about that. I had, and I was, I had a pre-order for for that on Walmart because that is a Walmart exclusive. And I was very excited that I got the pre-order because during that Walmart con, those pre-orders were flying so fast. So I was happy to pick up the cable and I picked up the Captain America Venomized one. Uh, now, you get cable everywhere. And luckily with uh, Greg, he picked me up a cable. So I really appreciate that from him. Uh, Greg is, is an awesome guy. If you want, check out his uh, Instagram. Uh, but all those cables, I canceled my pre-order because it, it's going to be until October until they really fulfill it. And, you know, there's all these cables that are everywhere now in Walmarts. It's kind of like, what did you do to all those people that have those pre-orders? It's, it's like... <laughs> You're not going to be able to fulfill them. I have no idea. Either that or you just have a ton of cables in your inventory. But I just see these cables going on to clearance at some point. It's more than likely. If you're going to have that many cables on one store, that's ridiculous. And they're going to go on clearance. It's more than likely going to happen. Uh, but what I did pick up was <clears throat> Electro because I didn't have them. Uh, and it looks great. This Electro looks really good. There you go. And I also did pick up Green Goblin. I really don't like the eyes. 
but it is what it is. The head sculpt looks awesome though, but this is, they did a great sculpt on it. I mean, it's practically the same as the one as uh, the Sandman build figure one. It's just a different paint, uh, but this is great. Got these two. I actually finished this entire wave. So the whole wave done, completed. Wow, I can't believe it. Yeah, I even have the Kingpin one, so that's even better. Uh, I'm not looking forward to getting the Mysterio one, but who knows? Uh, it depends if I see it at a good price. But I finished this wave, so I'm actually happy with that. So there you go with that. Uh, we have this box right here, uh, not from Entertainment Earth. So I actually have three boxes. Three boxes right here. They are from Mercari. Mercari purchases, which is ridiculous. Uh, I sold stuff, so I have credit. Uh, I wanted to get some stuff that I always wanted. And this one was what I always wanted because I wanted to finish the lineup before the newer stuff started coming out. So, just to show you, uh, I, in the past, I was at a GameStop uh, where they were closing. And I got these guys for like... 15 bucks if I remember no 20 bucks it was like $20 uh, so I got Marcus Phoenix Gears of War 5 uh, which is great because I love how they have the the old help the old head sculpt right there um, so this is awesome uh, and his partner Augustus Cole which is awesome because he's got that football helmet uh, and he's got the other weapons too and he's got the the older version of him uh, head sculpt so that's great with this so if you know your storm collectibles and you know which figures that they did release I got Kate Diaz this is great because it's a female figure too uh, so I'm very curious like in terms of height uh, which they're probably gonna stand the same but I, I'm curious about it but there's Kate Diaz right there if you didn't know voiced by Laura Bailey Laura Bailey is an awesome voice actor uh, and here is the back of it three different head sculpts one with the visor on her on her eyes uh, one with that beanie hat and one uh, her regular so she's got three different weapons as well which I think almost nope is almost similar to uh, it's similar to Augustus. He's got the same uh, Nasher shotgun, uh, but he she's got the Talon pistol, which is really nice. So all the different weapons, which is really cool to see. Uh, but yeah, I think it's this is awesome. So this was open, this was used, but everything sh everything is perfect. So can't wait to now open all three of these up, and hopefully I have a spot that I could put in the new detail. Um, now I know. Storm Collectibles is also doing uh, more of these figures, so I can't wait to see uh, that when it happens. Uh, this one, which one? Uh, let's do this one. This one, let's see. I was very excited with this one because uh, I wanted to do some Mezco figures. Uh, only certain ones, uh, and most likely the X-Men ones. So uh, I got a really good deal on this one. I think I only paid like $60, $60 or $58 or something like that, which is a great price. Uh, so here we go. The first one we got is Cable. Move that box out of the way. We got Cable. This is the PX Previews exclusive, so it's the tin box one. Now this version is that one. And I like this one because it's like, it reminds me of Marvel vs. Capcom or Marvel vs. Street Fighter because that was that's the outfit that I recognize him in. But I like it because it's he's like in an X-Men uniform, so I, I appreciate that one. Uh, but this looks really good. Love the weapons. It also has a light-up feature where his eye, his one eye lights up. So there is that for this particular Mezco. 
and it's got the this spear which i want to i want to believe that that's like ahab's spear but i could be wrong i have no idea uh i just think with mezco they have some awesome awesome stuff there's the inside of it right there look at that mezco uh and then let's put this aside right there the last box so the last box will feed into the same collection because it is the Mezco Suicide Squad Harley Quinn. I've always wanted this version of Harley Quinn. I probably was trying to get the Hot Toys version for a very long time because uh, that Hot Toys version is incredible but it's just so much high in price now that unfortunately it's unattainable for me. But this version of Mezco is really good, and I like it. Uh, I've always liked it. I just never got around to, you know, picking it up at the time because I really wasn't into picking up Mezcos. So this Mezco, if you don't know, is based on from the motion picture. So there is that Harley Quinn. Three different head sculpts. Got the weapons, the bat, and the handgun. Um, different hands. And she does come with a jacket too, so there is a jacket involved with that. Uh, so I think, I think if, yeah, if I pull, yeah, that's good. There you go. So there's the inside of it. Looks great. All the different head sculpts look great. It's, it's very, it's flashy, honestly. It looks very flashy because the, the colors are very highlighted. It seems like the colors on here are more muted, but there's more highlights in this one, which looks really good, especially the cloth goods on this one. So I like it. It looks awesome. Uh, I want to pull it. You know what? I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to take it out, see how it looks, because I've always wanted this figure. Um, and I've always wanted to have... If I, if, if they had another, like, you know, it's funny because I had the SH Figure Arts um, Deadshot a long time ago, but I sold it because I just wasn't going to collect any more Figure Arts in that one. Uh, but yeah, this, that look, wow, really nice. The detail is incredible on this right there. So even with the different head sculpts. It's got this really nice detailing right there, including that one. And of course, I love this one. That's even better. That's really cool. So yeah, awesome, awesome figure. Where in the hell's the jacket? That's my concern. There, there's the jacket. There's the jacket. So we have the jacket. Looks really good. All right. So I'm happy. Really cool. This is awesome. Uh, now, let's do this giveaway. So I am going to uh, basically cut out and go onto my computer screen so we can, you know, do the YouTube comment picker. So... Hopefully, we can pick a winner that has, you know, used the hashtag Destro and commented where they were from. So, let's get on with picking a winner. All right, guys. We are here on my screen. We are at the video, episode 222, where I have the giveaway started, which ended on 910. So, I'm going to copy the link for this. Now, remember... You had to use hashtag Destro, and you also had to comment what state and country you are from. So those are required for the comments. So for right now, let's enter in the video, and then we'll filter out all the comments that have the hashtag Destro right there. And there are 38 people that participated in this giveaway. So Let's go ahead and pick a winner. Hopefully, everything is in the comments. 
Paul Music Official. Message me if you want to buy the Baroness. I have an extra one. Hashtag Jestro. So, unfortunately, I uh, did not do part of the rules because he did not comment what state and country he's from. So, let's unfortunately pick another winner. Heriberto Borrero. Too bad there are slim pickings at his target on Walmart. Some parts of the country are luckier than others. I haven't seen much movement in figures on Long Island, New York area. However, my recent local target and it's legend Bath strong and sugar man, man. Hashtag Destro. So you are from Long Island, New York. You use the hashtag Destro. You are our winner. So congratulations, Heriberto Borrero. Uh, We'll just go on to the next clip and we'll discuss how you can contact me. So congratulations, Herberto. Uh, you're the winner. You are the winner of the Destro figure. So make sure you contact me, whether it be through my email or if you follow me on Instagram. Uh, that's the best way to do it because I'm constantly messaging people on Instagram. Uh, but yeah, congratulations. Uh, I'm just going to say this, if I do not hear from you uh, by, let's just say Monday, uh, I will have to pick a new winner. So please make sure you get in contact with me. Uh, I am providing that deadline because it's only fair to other people because uh, it just is. I, I've already dealt with that before in previous giveaways where no one contacted me. So it was just like, and I gave those people a week. I, I can't wait a week for that one. So we're gonna do that. So there you go. Congratulations, bud. Uh, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. But one more thing, we actually are very much nearing 3000 subscribers and that's a huge milestone for me. So 3000 subscribers, I was trying to reach 3000 subscribers by I think it was May or June, so it didn't happen, but now it is. So I'm really happy that I'm getting there, and that's really awesome of you guys to do so. Thank you for subscribing, and thank you for watching my videos. So for 3,000 subscribers, I do have another giveaway. So that is nuts. I've been doing a giveaway since 2,700 subscribers. I've been doing one after another for 100 subscriber in increments. So 3,000 subscribers, I have a giveaway. Um, this giveaway prize is right here in my hands and I'm going to give it away, uh, when I reach 3000 subscribers. So I'm hoping, uh, you guys will be able to share the video, or get anyone to subscribe or do whatever. Um, I would love to see that subscriber count go up higher. Uh, and I think it was, I, it's just amazing that you guys, uh, support me enough to watch my videos. So I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, but the prize for right now i i don't know if i'm going to have multiple prizes but at least for this one main prize uh we're just going to go off of this one so when we reach the 3000 subscriber goal um we are going to give away to give back to you guys and one of you lucky winners if you choose to participate in it will win a mezco figure which is the Netflix Daredevil figure. This is an awesome figure. It really is. I've enjoyed this figure very much. So I have, I had opened this figure. Um, I had displayed it once or twice, but I never kept it on display. I always put it back in the box. Shut up, Dante, if you are watching this. I did put it back in the box because I had no place for Mezco figures in my collection, especially at my old house. So. <laughs> Here we have the Mezco Daredevil I'm giving away when we hit 3,000 subscribers. Here is what it looks like on the back of the box. You will get your Matt Murdock, two different head sculpts, billy clubs, uh, three sets of hands, and the stand. So there you have it. I mean, it's a Mezco. They're awesome. 
I, I love these figures. I don't know if you can see much of the figure itself. Because, yeah, I really kept it in really good condition because everything is still in there. Uh, but, yeah, you will get this figure. Um, I think it's awesome. If you guys are looking to, you know, dabble in Mezco or you never got your hands on this particular Mezco, I would, I would jump on it. But yeah, this is what Matt Murdock looks like right there. Cloth goods and all. Really nice, really nice to see that. Uh, but there you go. That is it for this video. I think it's enough considering I've already, you know, done like 22 minutes worth of time just of me talking. But yeah, I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe at the same time. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys have been finding. I would really appreciate to hear from you because you guys know that I will respond back to your comments. But thank you guys so much. As always, I really appreciate it. Make sure you go and, you know, hunt, find what you're looking for. Good luck with it because I know it's been a bitch to find some stuff. Uh, but have a good one, guys. I hope to see you on the next hunt.